Jo and I'm your online workstation assessor. We're doing a series of videos which are aimed towards people that are doing in-house DSE assessments. The idea is that it gives you a little quick reminder about certain key things to do with workstation assessments. Now you're probably wondering why I'm sitting on the floor. One of the things we're going to look at today is how do you know when a chair is too deep for somebody? Chairs being too long in the seat depth tends to affect people that are a little bit shorter. So I own here from sales support, I'm afraid you can only see her legs, but she is about five foot two, about 152 centimetres. Now the classic signs of a chair being too long for somebody is the fact that the chair will actually hit the back of somebody's knees. Ideally what you're looking for is about a two can quite do that, two to three finger gap between the back of the knees and the back of the, or sorry, the back of the knees and the front of the chair. So let's adjust this. Now this chair's got a seat slider, so we're gonna adjust it back, but I'll also show you how you can do it if somebody hasn't, if a chair hasn't got a seat slider as well. So let's move the seat set back. Right, so remember two or three fingers, that's about three now, so that's a kind of perfect distance and what this means is that when somebody is a little bit shorter they can actually sit all the way back in the chair and actually get really good back support, otherwise they tend to perch on the edge of the chair and actually then doesn't get the back support. So what happens if your chair hasn't got a seat slider? So let's just reverse that. Right, now if your chair hasn't got a seat slider, what can you do? Get somebody to sit at the correct distance. You've got the two to three finger gap at the front and you can see then that leaves quite a big gap so somebody's not getting any back support. So what you can do is use a back support cushion, just pop it behind them and then you've got the correct seat depth but you've still got back support. Hope you found this useful. If you have, if you could like the video and then subscribe to the channel, that would be brilliant. Thank you.